Hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. So, I spent the day today milling lumber, as you can see. Now, what I'm preparing right now is all a bunch of, uh, what are they, three and a half, so roughly two by four, two by three and a half inch uh, pine. Uh, I'm probably gonna finish that with some spruce tomorrow. It's a couple of dead spruce trees in here. Uh, maybe one dead pine and I think even a dead larch. So the plan is to mill those up into dimensional lumber and then build the outhouse this week with that dimensional lumber. So frame it and then do something different on the exterior. But I might use um, stuff that I'm going to mill for the exterior too and for the roof. So um, time consuming but probably right now regardless of what I consider my time is worth uh, with the price of lumber in the lumber stores I would imagine yeah, it's quite a savings to be able to use my own trees. Obviously, they're free, but my, my time and the fuel to run this thing, probably very, um, a very good financial move to be doing that right now. Uh, one of the best in a long time. So, probably another full day, not just for the outhouse, but to mill all the boards from these uh, dead trees. I may as well mill a bunch for the next, uh, for the cabin and for the um, outdoor kitchen. And what else? The bedroom, well, the floor. So mainly the cabin and the outdoor kitchen next. And then I can get let those dry this time, season uh, long enough that they're not going to shrink on me too much. So that's the plan. Uh, I bought this thing. I don't know if you knew. Uh, some people have seen the videos of me using this last year. I think it was July or maybe August, probably July, that I bought this mill and started milling all the trees that I had around the property around the cabin including those ash trees that we cut down the dying ash or dead ash that we cut down to make the longhouse we stripped all the bark off of it and those logs are awesome for like making ash lumber for flooring and structural timbers and things like that i need to make some bridges so that's probably the other thing and i need hardwood for that got some real wet spots on the trail now that everything's melted and the snow is not covering those over and the ice and, and I need to go over it with a four-wheeler to get back to the cabin site. Then I need to get either a bridge or do a corduroy uh, road across that. So depending on what I have near that site or near each of those sites, the, like the wet areas, I'll decide whether it's a corduroy a road or, or an actual bridge. These larch trees are really good for that kind of stuff too because it's more rot resistant. Um, so I'm going to use hemlock or larch for the bottom part of the, the uh, outhouse also for the bottom course of the log cabin but also for things like planters for growing vegetables and for the bridge material I might use larch as well anyway it's really been fun and handy having this thing so I'm going to continue to do that over the next few days so if you want to tune in to see what I'm doing with this stuff you can go to the other channel my self-reliance or you can click on the playlist the bottom left hand side of the screen to see um, everything going on this year at the homestead or top left hand side of the screen will be just the, the most recent video so thanks for watching look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time take care